Why know something crazy? This guy tried to add me on Snapchat, so I decided to add him back, and I sent him this video. So, Measle, I hope you enjoy this. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I wanted to make a follow-up to this video. So, just a quick warning, this video may include curse words, though not verbally spoken. They will be shown on screen. So, in this video, I want to go more in depth about the beef and make somewhat of a timeline of the origin, my response to some of the comments, and the aftermath. Okay, let's get into it. Crazy enough, this beef predates my channel, and in a way, it kind of created it. By the way, though I know his real name looks somewhat like this word, which is pretty ironic, we will refer to him as Measle in this video, as that is his new YouTube alias. So approximately four years ago, me and Measle were friends, and we used to play Roblox together. It was around this time, I found that he had a small channel with 20 subscribers. At this time, I really wanted a channel, so I asked for a collaboration, and we played Super Doomspire in a video before my channel existed. I had tried to record it, but my simple match but could not handle using OBS. I had appeared in exactly two videos, one being the Super Doomspire video and the other one being an item asylum video. After this, we played build a boat off camera where I told him about a fly glitch, which he posted a video about not crediting the original creator nor me for telling him how to do it. In conversations, he began to just imitate what I would say, which I found strange. For example, I remember a joke I made about someone quitting math and how they would not be able to walk as walking includes gravity and also bending your knee includes angles. And he continued to repeat this joke over and over again, even though I'm the one who made it towards him. Though this may sound stupid, keep in mind that this was when I was in the fifth grade and this was repetitive in any interaction with him, you would imitate like anything you said. This then got to a point where several of his videos were my ideas and his Roblox Island in Islands was noticeably a copy. Hey guys, this is Future Power Cat Fly here. I was going over footage of the original video and I found this clip which shows one of the copied videos. Most of the copied videos were lost to time because he deleted his channel, but here's one of the pieces of evidence that he's been stealing my content, and this was made after I unfriended him by the way, just to specify. Bed Wars is down, take it. Wait, this is literally my video! This is literally my video! I uploaded about this! About Bed Wars being down- Oh my god, show that video on screen right now. Of mine, so I decided to block him and start working on my own channel. After learning how to edit, which he never learned how to do, I started to grow a significant bit, and though my channel was either one to two years younger than his, I got to 100 subscribers first thanks to these videos and your guys' support. Could not have done it without you guys. Though I didn't know this until the original video on the sub- After I made my intro video, he also tried to make an intro, except he never learned how to edit, so he didn't custom make one, and he used a template. Template. Also, he decided to take the route of doing Roblox and Minecraft Bedwars content that was low quality, possibly trying to imitate the micro success in my Roblox Bedwars content. But it's hard to say as Roblox Bedwars was a popular game, so take this comment with a grain of salt. He also tried Roblox Bedwars how to become good at the game videos, but those never went anywhere. There was no revelation of the beef until the summer of 2023, where I had foot surgery. After my foot surgery, he got a group of his guestmen slash friends to harass me on Discord. By the way, Way, fear and leg are both aliases of measles. They're both the same account. They're just different display names. He changed it throughout. I'm not sure how many screenshots I'm gonna have to post because I haven't edited this yet. But if you see fear or leg, those are both measles. The rest are his yes. They were saying insults with no merit that were hypocritical. So for the most part, I found these amusing. For example, this guy saying you have none, you effing furry to a joke about me having no dad. But the funny thing is, none refers to plural, not singular. So he's implying he that he has over two dads. This is why you should finish school and sort out your daddy issues before harassing someone online. Another funny example is this one, where one of his friends states this, but not only is this not true, he identifies as a homosexual, so this had a good chuckle out of me. But I do have to give it to him. Off the group, he's the only one who gave a formal apology and claimed it was peer pressure, so I do have to respect him for that. And this was a common trend for Measle. He peer pressured someone of the Mexican ethnicity to say the N-word repeatedly on my server. P.S. Measle was wasn't even off the Mexican ethnicity anyways, so any stupid argument about him having a past is not viable, and even if it is true, you should not say a racial slur associated with slavery unless you are of the African American ethnicity. This later escalated to them getting my Discord account banned by mass reporting from the group. Also, they talked- they started two servers to talk about me, with one containing a picture of me wearing a foxy mask in this video, which apparently made me a furry, and the other one becoming a 
civil group chat that stopped talking about me. Though I have been told that one of the old rules was that I was not allowed to be invited and I was later banned from the server entirely. Oh, by the way, people were saying stuff about my insults being weak. How about someone making an insult out of someone covering their face with a Halloween mask? But we will get to that later in the video. I don't want to get into that too much right now. So with Pikmin, the guy who called me gay, I teased him by saying he was obsessed with me. Pre-apology, I didn't just randomly attack him no, after apologizing. But if you guys would like, you could pause and read this conversation. This is when I found out I got banned by that group, so I decided to make a response video after healing from my surgery quite a bit. This video was meant to be informative, not aggressive, so my insults were not meant to be serious, I just wanted to make a few jokes. He had said in one of the servers that he would respond, but then deleted his channel entirely, his friends also mentioning how he was clearly upset, though in my comment section before deleting his channel commented it was a free shout out. For the most part, the video was taken well by most people, understanding what had happened, and, but some of his yes men showed up in the comments, so instead of ignoring their ignorant claims, let's go over their comments right here and right now. One user commented, what is this, followed by the skull emoji. I'm going to assume this clip is what warranted that comment. Oh, my bro looks like a skippy toilet with his head out. Uh. But let's see his content before I explain for the third time that this was meant to be an informative video, not intended for harassment or bullying. edit changing the filter for two seconds clearly requires more effort than my video and clearly the youtube king is telling me what's wrong with my video obviously you don't need to be good at youtube to make some feedback i feel like you should mention what's wrong with the video if you're gonna try to be critical so let's talk about this and debunk the stupidity of the clip i had mentioned in the video i'm not gonna insult him because i don't want any harassment or bullying going towards him you can even hear a clear cut of me calling him worse things as a matter of fact i am doing it to you right now i'm not gonna start calling you slurs, insults about not showing your voice, insults of the type of content you make, which don't even teether on what I would say if I was trying to target you for bullying. But I decided to make just a simple comment on the quality of your content and the hypocrisy of your statement. Okay guys, I just have to say, does this guy not look exactly like the game developer who asked his employees to bathe naked in front of him? Like, he even has the same camera angle with 5% of the camera being the person. They probably even had a similar deal to, like, if you show me your willy, I'll I will harass Parkathla. And for every inch, I'll call him a different slur. And that's why the N word was the only slur in their vocabulary. That makes sense. Okay, okay, makes sense. Next are these comments from Connor. He made multiple comments on multiple videos on the same subject. One being, Measle won the beef, by the way. Hey, who needs Drake versus Kendrick when we have Power versus Measle? Okay, the second one's kind of funny. Okay, firstly, you made a comparison to Drake versus Kendrick, but said Measle won the beef, meaning in your eyes, Measle is Kendrick. So let's debunk your idea of him winning anything to any capacity. Hypothetically, if Drake made Family Matters and Kendrick deleted every song he had on Spotify and everything to do with his career, would you think that Kendrick won the beef? Even if Drake didn't make a song and Kendrick just deleted everything after Euphoria, Drake would have won the beef anyways. In my eyes, the ways to lose a verbal argument are trying to start a physical fight or running away from the argument entirely. Not to mention the fact that the only one with the real allegations against someone was him. I am clean of any drama and the only response would be false comments of me anyways. I'm going to assume, Connor, you are another yes man trying to defend your friend from the clear idea of the video, trying to run away from the main point of the video that was made abundantly clear in the first 30 seconds by stating a simple comment about him winning the beat. But Connor, let me cut you a deal. If this video gets 10 likes, I'll make an actual diss track on Measle. Okay, the final comment here. Guys, I think Connor was right. So I think there were two yes men and one five year old. So pro tip, if you can't write you suck, then don't comment a hate comment and go back to sucking a big key. Okay, so now we get to where we are now. He messaged me on Discord asking if we're friends. He deleted his Discord too, so I don't have screenshots again. So, and I respond, we are not friends, but we are not enemies, but that's a bit outdated now. The Measle account was made and includes one video on the channel that is just stolen material, which reevaluates my point about him having no personality and just being a copy of the things he sees. He now joins my horror game streams, which will probably end after this video, and tries to leak my name on multiple accounts. I also don't know why he makes multiple accounts. He's not banned from talking on my streams. He just, for some reason, has like 10 YouTube accounts. Another thing happened recently of one of his yesmen saying he won the beef, just like Connor. So I responded, may I see the response? That's what I thought. He lost 
lost a YouTube channel and a Discord. I lost a Discord. Stop riding him. He tries to ease the blow by saying cry about it. So I respond, you know you can't respond. Stop trying to be sarcastic. Obviously, he knows he didn't win anything, but he's trying to bother me. Unluckily for him, this is more entertainment than anything. And that hopefully translates to comical effect for you guys. But before I end this video, I want to show the most recent interaction between me and him in the comments of one of my latest videos, which nails the, the nail in the coffin, which proves my point that his personality is stolen. He comments, why do you sound zesty though? No hate. But later deletes the no hate part. Before I say my response, I want to call to your attention that I know he stole the idea for this comment from these two people as one of his accounts replied to one of these comments. So my reply, are you stupid though? No hate. Pretty basic response, no need to get overly aggressive talking to the first guy who commented. And he responds with, if I'm stupid, you're autistic. By the way, good job using the right your while making a comment on the stupidity of anyone. So I respond, what a comeback. Would call you autistic back, but that's insulting autistic people. Maybe try working on yourself instead of focusing on my voice. And then continue with, also autistic doesn't necessarily mean stupid. Most geniuses had autism. Also, not that there's anything wrong with it, but someone in his group does have autism. And this once again proves his hypocrisy, or he's just being hostile to his own friend, which in that case, I would feel bad for his friend. I had to conclude, this went from a copycat to a degenerate harasser to a guy who just wants friends because he realized that his were not friends, they were too idiotic to be considered the same species anyways, which he forgot to account for himself. So thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, this video wasn't intended for hate, harassment, or bullying, so this is strictly for educational purposes. So I'll see you guys in the next video, peace. And remember, 10 likes for the actual diss track!